basketball. Our game reset presented by your local New England Honda dealers. Paige Beckers and Aaliyah Edwards leading the way again tonight for UConn, the dynamic duo showing the way. And uh, Grace Oposa, leading scorer. See, points in the paint have been a big thing tonight again for UConn. Really, this Big East season for the Huskies, they have been dominant. You know, thanks to those two, this team has, has dominated, but it's, you know, we're used to seeing them win, but boy, we're interesting how they dominated in so many different categories. I mean, the average margin of victory for UConn in Big East play this year has been 31.6 points. So we start this uh, fourth quarter here with Oposa driving. And Betcourt on the defense on that one. Here come the Huskies running. Get it to Betcourt. And she can't get the layup. So the Big East Tournament coming up. It starts on Friday at Mohegan Sun. Uh, top five teams earn the uh, bye through the first round, which includes UConn. They've locked in that number one seed uh, about a week, week and a half ago. Three games in three days for this Husky team. That's going to be really tough. tough. I, I, it's, physically, it's going to be a challenge. I know it's a big concern for, for everyone within the program. Again, it comes back to what, this group that's on the floor now. You're going to need minutes out of this group that's on the floor now to get you through those three games. I mean, kids generally don't care. They want to play, but <laughs> they've been playing 30 minutes a game. Well, uh, three months, and Samuel's there call for the walk. Yeah. So the bracket shapes up. Uh, UConn with the, uh, the one line on their side of the bracket will be Marquette and Villanova. So the Providence Butler winner gets UConn. Winner of that one gets the winner of Marquette and Villanova. Creighton will be on the other side of the bracket as the uh, two seed. And again at uh, noon on Saturday will be that opening game for UConn. Farrell did a nice job to get that back after having it knocked away. Missed. Missed again. Third chance points. No. And this time Brady will get uh, the rebound and a foul called on Providence. Brady, Brady's had some tough rebounds here. Yeah. Showing some strength and toughness in that low post. Ice Brady only played five minutes the other night against Villanova. But uh, she has been on the floor for 12 and counting in this one. Four points. Hasn't missed a shot. One of one from the floor, two of two from the free throw line. As uh, Ashlyn Shade comes back in, Nika Mule to the bench for UConn. Into Brady. Mismatch inside. Doesn't get the shot, gets the miss, and didn't get fouled on the way up. Over the top of everything. Those are the plays that Brady needs to continue to work and get stronger, and she needs to finish them. Brady and Van Domo, a real physical matchup inside right now. Long shot from outside for Marta Morales Romero, the junior from Spain. That is only the fourth made three of the night for Providence. Of course, UConn's only made five. This hasn't been a, a shooting exposition. <laughs> no. It's been a, um, a def you said it earlier, a defensive matchup? Yeah, defensive battle. Yeah. And really physical under the boards. Really physical. So you got Paige and Aaliyah both on the bench. Nika as well, all three seniors. There's Ben Court, no. And Arnold couldn't pull out a rebound. Sophie Hall, the freshman from Minnesota. This is the shot. Foul is going to be on Caden Samuels, her second. These seniors getting this rest. This is, these are critical minutes of rest for them. May not, may not seem it, but they need to get a break. I'm going to play again until next Saturday, but, the, you know, you could... You could start to see a little bit the cumulative minutes in these last couple of games adding up. 
is that could that play a factor into why their shooting percentage has been lower? Yeah, sure, right? Of course. Legs are tired. Shots are short. Samuels chases down the ball. Nice effort to get that rebound. Yeah, I mean, you know, you look, UConn was one of the hottest three-point shooting teams in the country for a long time this season. And it has cooled off lately. Bettencourt. No. Tied up ball as Brady and Bandoma. Both don't want to let go of the basketball. <laughs> uh, grudge match going on there for that. So it will be a 20 second shot clock for UConn. They want a towel to wipe the ball, which is the momentary delay. UConn sets the uh, the inbound play. Who? Let's see. We've got uh, Brady's got four points tonight. Samuels has three. KK Arnold has ten on the night. Ashlyn Shade with four. Samuels, no. Rebound by Rollins Romero. Quickly ahead to Sophie Hall, who gets the runaway basket for Providence. Nice catch and finish by Hall. Providence tries to put some front court pressure on. So Providence has some freshmen on the floor as well at this uh, point in the game, trying to get their young players some experience in this. Samuels, no. Long rebound will go out of bounds. And an empty possession for UConn, who has yet to score in this fourth quarter, and we've played almost four minutes. Huskies are 0 for 8 from the floor in the period, and 0 for 3 from outside. by 26. There's Hall again. Shot well short. Rebound tapped by Arnold, and that's going to be UConn basketball. It went off the Providence player. That's going to be a travel and a turnover by UConn. So let's see. Ten turnovers on the night for UConn. Sixteen for Providence. And we come up on midway in the fourth quarter with uh, Nika Mule going back to the scorer's table, ready to check in. Morales Romero with another three. The junior from Spain. Had a career high 24 against Villanova. About a week and a half ago, there's Ashlyn Shane, drops the two, and gets the Huskies on the board finally in this fourth quarter. That's a great way for Shane to get back into it offensively. She loves to take that power dribble and shoot. So Shade is up to six points tonight, three of eight shooting, four assists, and three rebounds. Rattles Romero right into the paint and drops it. Now, Marta Romales Romero, the transfer from Wake Forest, having herself a fourth quarter here. Eight points. Arnold, the spin. Nice. How about the confidence and the aggressiveness in that play? Quick spin to the left and move. Fade away, nice touch. K.K. Arnold, again, 12 points. There's Bandoma on Brady, got Brady off her feet, missed the shot. Arnold comes in, will tie up the basketball. It'll be Providence ball after the timeout. Media timeout with 4.18 to go in the ball game. K.K. Arnold really having a great night in Rhode Island's capital city. K.K. Arnold's like in this place. She's had a night in Providence. Well, they are terrific anticipation and footwork. One of her three steals on the evening. You know, I just love her decision making here. A nice ball fake. Steps around the defender to avoid the offensive charge. And how about the spin, the body control? Perfect speed. 12 points. Season high, seven rebounds. 
Arnold on the bench for a breather as uh, the ball inbounded by Providence here with a 20-second shot clock. Olivia Olsen, 31, back into the ball game for Providence. Nika Mule back into the ball game for UConn. Hard fall to the floor, but she'll come away with the ball. That is a Nika Mule classic. Yeah, we'll call that the Nika Mule special, right? Morales Romero right to the bucket. She has been just about uh, the offense for Providence in the last uh, quarter and change. Brady cuts. Good ball movement and a bad pass. Good idea offensively, just better defense. And Neil again with a hand on the ball. And it'll be tied up. That'll be UConn basketball. We'll call this one the Nika Mule. Everything you needed to know about how she plays highlight. I mean, look at the grit, the deep, the toughness. Both players dive into the floor. And a good finish by Mule. And you can tell a difference in the level of UConn's defensive effort since she checked back into the ballgame. The toughness and grit. Let's give and go. Bet court to Samuels. Can't hit the shot. Three-point shooting has not been a thing of beauty for either team tonight. A combined 10 for 44. Is it 44? And, uh, also misses that one. It'll be Providence basketball. 20 to shoot here for Providence. UConn shooting 22% from three, Providence shooting 26% from three, and not a little deceiving because they had a quarter where they shot 50% from three. There's Gracie Posa on her senior night, charges in to try and get her own rebound. That was just cool, that was halfway down. Samuels. Pulls up, no. And here's a close out again. And Farrell got it. Farrell, another of the seniors honored tonight here at Alumni Hall before their final game at Providence in this building. Shade finds herself left alone as Providence trying to set up some defensive pressure. Smart play by Shade. UConn, the previous several possessions, struggled to score, and you could tell that Beckers and Edwards are on the bench. Their offense is a bit stale. Just eight points in the quarter for UConn after scoring 21, 16, and 20 in the prior three. If Osa, and they'll call Shade for the foul. Well, Gary Apple and Carol Walters standing by with a full recap of tonight's game. Plus, you'll get to hear Gino Ariema's post-game news conference on the UConn Women's Basketball post-game show presented by your local New England Honda dealers immediately after the game. And Nika Mule heads to the bench again for UConn. So then it's a top 16 reveal. The NCAA Tournament Committee, the Selection Committee for the Women's Basketball Championship, had UConn as the number 10 overall seed. About right? Too high, too low? Uh, I mean, they're seated 10th right now, right? Um, yep, 10th overall, in yes. In their ranking, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. AP and you coaches yeah. polls, they're 10th, yep. You know what, I think it's fair. It's tough, it's tough for me to talk about this stuff too much ahead of time. And obviously, it's the committee that will set the, the NCAA tournament. So, it's a little bit easier for me to digest that, but yep. I think it's fair. Listen, they got to, regardless of where, they're seated. They've got to shoot the ball and play better and play a lot better than they played here tonight. Samuels with an aggressive rebound tapped away, and the Huskies will reset it inside the final minute and a half. Well, uh, UConn looking at being a three seed or so. Wild day already in women's college basketball, right? You've got a couple of ranked teams losing already. So those rankings and settings, just everything. Time violation on UConn with a minute five to go. The, the whole seating thing could take another big shakeup between now and Selection Sunday. Yeah, I just know that guy will, you know, he'll just wait till the, the, the pairings come out, the bracket comes out, and he'll go wherever he's told to go, and he'll get his team ready. 
Big East tournament to get through first. Starting again for UConn on Saturday at noon at Mohegan Sun. Darrow playing with a bunch of stitches over her eye after taking a shot in a game the other night, and now KK Arnold has just taken a shot in that pile. She'll get called for the foul. There's a lot of action there. It's interesting that KK Arnold got called for the foul. She took a shoulder to the mouth. She took an elbow, I thought, to the face. And the Providence Coach Bath taking her seniors out of the game with 40.6 to go, getting them a final recognition here at Alumni Hall. So Gracie Fosa and uh, Brent Farrell to the bench. And 40.6 to go in the game, 20-second shot clock for UConn. So an 18th undefeated regular season for the Huskies in uh, conference play. It's pretty remarkable what Gino Oriana has been able to do for 39 years to win 18 regular season championships and to do it undefeated. I mean, they take great pride in winning this regular season championship. Always That's excellence and consistency yeah. over three months, two months. So the uh, season will go in the books as 18 wins against no losses in Big East play for the Huskies. And their mark will advance to 26 and 5 on the campaign as the regular season comes to a close. With the conference tournament and NCAA tournament play still to come. Shot clock violation with just a couple of seconds to go. Providence will inbound the basketball and uh, wrap it up here tonight. is resetting the game clock okay added an extra one point something seconds on for them to dribble out your final in providence yukon 65 and providence 42 and the huskies off their 30th regular season conference championship will head in search of a 29th conference tournament title starting next Saturday afternoon. Paige Becker's leading the way, leading all scorers tonight. 17 for Paige, 13 for Leah Edwards, and Nika Mule with seven assists, eight points, and, uh, and another solid effort from Mule. Our player of the game, presented by your local Hyundai dealers, is gonna be the freshman K.K. Arnold. She will get uh, our nod from this one with uh, double figure points. Look at that, seven rebounds, tying her career high, three assists, three steals, and uh, just tremendous energy and effort she played with tonight. K.K. Arnold, our player of the game. All right, let's uh, check in with Chelsea. Coach, even with all the injuries this season, you end up going undefeated in conference play. How was this team able to do it? Uh, we've got some, um, you know, we've got a, some pretty good upperclassmen that are, you know, really tough kids. Um, you know, they've gotten better and better, you know, um, and they're great leaders. Um, you know, Nika, Paige, uh, Aliyah, can't say enough about, you know, what they do. And, um, you know, and then we had some contributions, great contributions from a couple of our freshmen. Um, and, you know, we're Connecticut. You know, we take a lot of pride in who we are and what we do and how we do it. And, um, you know, as long as we can get five players out on the floor, you know, we have pretty high expectations for ourselves. So, um, you know, we're pretty proud of what we accomplished this year. So win the Big East Tournament, you're going to have to play three games in three days. What kind of challenges does that present, especially for a team like this? Well, you saw what we look like without our starters. So, you know, go home tomorrow and pray for our starters to stay healthy. All right, Coach, congrats. Thank you. Well, Paige, uh, Paige Beckers gave us a little scare tonight, but uh, certainly showed she was healthy. And uh, got more to come from Alumni Hall in Providence in just a minute. Paige Beckers leading the way as the Huskies finish the Big East season 18-0.